right, thanks, Colt. Now we have Josh Royton here with uh, Edward Jones to talk about taking greater control over your retirement um, and, and your 401k. So I guess what is, um, for some people that are very new to the scene, maybe younger than me, what is your 401k and I guess what, what does it provide for in your life? Sure. Well, the 401k is really a catch-all term for a lot of retirement plans. So a lot of what I'm saying right now is going to be true for a 401k, 457, 403b. They're basically just employer-provided retirement plans. It's a way for you to defer a portion of your salary uh, with some tax benefits possibly if you do a traditional contribution uh, and allow those contribution amounts to grow for you as a savings vehicle for retirement. And um, how, can, um, how can people take, a, take greater control of, of, their, of that plan and really maximize what they get out of it? Absolutely. I think I'm sharing a couple of key features of it. Uh, most, or most retirement plans are going to have a, a standard default rate. And that standard default rate is going to be set by the employer. Um, it's okay. <laughs> Keep going. Thank, thank you. So it's going to be set by the, uh, I didn't catch that, sorry, thank you. Uh, it's going to be set by the employer uh, or the HR department. They're going to say, hey, you know, we're going to make a, a standard default contribution of 3% or 4%. Lately, they've been doing an increased contribution rate for most people. So when you first start your job, they might withhold 6% of your pay to go into that 401k plan. And that's a great starting point, but, you know, 3 to 6% long term over your career, you may actually not be on track to save for enough for retirement. So we encourage people to look at their financial goal as far as where they want to get to and make sure they're contributing the right amounts. Uh, another popular way to take advantage or to take control of your plan is to set a contribution level you're, you're comfortable with, you know, in 2019, 2020, but also do an annual step up contribution. You can make your plan automatically withhold an additional 1% per year. So within a couple of years, now you're contributing a greater portion of your, your, uh, your salary to save for retirement. And is there anything that you see in, in when you're working that people weren't anticipating um, paying for in retirement and you know then they, their retirement funds just don't match up with their needs? Um, you know, we see that more with clients that you know, maybe aren't really ready for the volatility more than anything. So we always tell, you know, tell people or encourage people to, hey, look at the volatility, make sure your investment mix lines up with your, uh, with your retirement needs because you don't want to hit retire, you know, three, four years before retirement, take a huge drop in the market. That's why another one of the options they, they want us to focus on is investment mix. Um, so making sure you're ready for that volatility. And one way the plan is set up to help people with that is if you're not really well versed in the markets is they'll put you in what they call a target date fund. And that's gonna be based on your age and based on a couple of risk metrics. So if they think you're gonna retire in 2055, they'll automatically put your money in a 2055 fund so it becomes less risky over time. All right, perfect. Well, thanks for joining us. And